So recent studies have shown that email is still one of the most effective ways to get through to prospects and clients. But how come your emails are not getting returned? Uh, we're going to talk about a few tips and tricks on making sure that your emails get returned in a more timely manner. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We're talking about emails in the meetings industry and how to get your email to meeting planners returned a little bit faster, um, either with a response to the question that you've asked or just acknowledgement of your products and services. Now, some of you may be having deja vu because this is round two of email tips and perhaps you're thinking, where is round one? It's right here. So check out the first video I did about email tips a few months back, um, but this is round two. So a lot of different things have come up and we're going to tackle some of the different strategies, new strategies that you can use to ensure that your emails are getting returned from your meeting planner prospects. Tip number one, make sure you have a clear subject line. I so often receive emails that the subject line is simply the word hello. Um, it's not going to compel me to respond. I have 400 hellos coming into my inbox every day. So if there's a clear subject line, then I know exactly what information you're looking for and I'm able to address it quickly, especially on those high stress days when the emails I can get out to you um, need to be quick in nature, but also help you move your project forward. So help me out, help me move your project forward by giving me a clear subject line and a clear call to action in that line. Tip number two, please give me some frame of reference with the name of the program or project that we're working on together. There are quite a few meeting planners in the industry who are juggling multiple priorities in a single day, either multiple programs or multiple projects, reports, etc. And the information you're providing is one piece in a very, very large puzzle that they are working on. So again, just help them out, give them some frame of reference. What is the name of this program? What, what, are, what are the dates that this program are running over? Anything that can help potentially jog a meeting planner's aging memory into remembering why you and I are working on this project. Tip number three, have a clear signature line. Yes, the signature line is the place at the bottom where you have your name, perhaps where you work, and perhaps other contact information details like an address or a phone number. Um, you may think this is a given. However, there's a number of meeting professionals and meeting partners out there whose signature line is still a bit vague. If at all present at all, um, which again makes it really difficult to figure out what program are we working on together. I can't even remember sometimes what hotel you're working at. Um, and please, please, I get it. I need to work a little bit better on my memory skills. Trust me, um, I'm going through that training as well. Um, but help me out. If your signature line can have a little bit of um, some clues as to where you work, um, that would really help me with my frame of reference as to what program we're working on together and what information you are looking for from me. And of course, my favorite tip of all time is the good old call to action or CTA. It is a lot easier for meeting planners to respond to your request when they know what it is that you are looking for. So make your call to action clear. Um, you can do that with a question mark right in the email uh, behind the question that you're asking. That way we know exactly what it is that we need to address. And again, the, the quicker we can address those questions, then you can move your projects along. We don't want to hold you up. Um, but when the emails are vague and there's no CTA attached, we are left guessing what it is we're supposed to respond to. And then often the email just uh, kind of drifts away and gets deleted. So please give me a clear call to action. I will answer that call to action. Finally, do your research, uh, especially if you're doing mass communication emails to a number of clients or a number of prospects about what's happening at your hotel. Um, doing your research and finding out potentially that planner's history with the hotel or the planner's history even with you as a salesperson 
and customize the message a little bit better. Uh, I know it's easy. I know it's easy to draft an email and hit send that goes out to three or 400 meeting planners and prospects. But when a meeting planner opens a mass communication and knows that it's not directed towards them because there are some blatant errors in how the communication is being worded, that's already going to leave us with a bitter taste uh, in our mouths. So make sure that you A, do your research, but then you're tailoring that communication to be very personal in nature. Now, I've included some examples of this in the blog post. But you have to go over to leannecalderwood.com to look at the blog post and see some of the examples of what it is I'm talking about. And I know when you see it, you're going to realize, oh, yeah, you know what? I've either seen these emails or I sent these emails out. And now I see why it might not be the most appropriate action for every single planner to do a mass send out. So take a look at the examples at the accompanying blog post, which I've posted below here, this video as well. So hopefully these email tips have helped you today. Um, email isn't the only way to connect with meeting planners. We love connecting in a whole bunch of different ways, be it social media, voicemail, or networking in person. And there are best tips and tricks to connecting with us in those formats as well. The best way to find all of those is to download the How to Getting Meeting Planners Attention download over at leannecalderwood.com. It's free download, free for you to use, and I encourage you to take a look and see how best to connect with us. Have a great day and I really hope to see you soon. Bye for now.